Hi, Sneak and expect tonight, and tonight we've got Puppy 4.3, the latest release. So super duper it is, and we're going to run through it with you. Now, there's a few things under the hood that have changed, new kernel with multiprocessor support, etc, etc, but I'll leave you to read about that yourselves. But as you can see, it's a basic Puppy setup. For drawing, it is still in escape the light, so some things are the same, and some things ain't. We go to the browser, we've got the Sea Monkey, and there's also another browser on here as well. So that will make sure it all works for you. So instead of going to the main BBC page today, we'll go to BBC Food, I think. Just for something different to look at. There we go, comes up nice and quick. I've not edited this very much whatsoever, so it's a lot quicker than the last version of Puppy. It's not overloaded. I felt the last one was a bit too much and it was a bit slower than normal, but this has corrected all that, as you can see. Super duper, I like it. Yes, so we'll come out of there. That's your browser sorted. Use your email, etc. We'll go down to the menu. Now in utilities, you've got a lot more to play with, as you can see. File systems the same. Graphics. Now on here we have full screen slide presenter. That's quite good. I've used that. Picture drag and drop. Blah blah blah. A viewer. Gimp I've put on myself, but we'll come back to that a bit later. As there was a little bit of a problem with that, and there still is as far as I know. Business, you've still got Gina you've got Home Bank there as well. Personal. Now, one little thing I did like here was a bcrypt file encryption. Now, it's been in command line for quite a while, but now we've got a GUI for it. Now, I've made a little file up here using Abbey Word in my documents. There it is, doc1, abwa. And basically, you just drag it down into bcrypt. There you go. It's there. It asks you to enter the password twice, so that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Click on OK. Oops, not enough characters. OK, I'll put another password in for you. With more characters, of course. There we go. Chuck it in. And Bob's your uncle. Click on OK. One, two, three. There it is, a lockdown file. Now, bearing in mind this is not super duper encryption, but remember, Puppy runs in root. So, if you just want to keep some documents from other people who use Puppy, might be ideal for you. Now, to unencrypt it, you just click on the file, bcrypt opens, you put in your password, click on OK, there you go, and he's unlocked. And we'll open it just to show there's nothing special here, I've just done a couple of text things. There you go, this is Puppy Linux. In Abbey Word, of course, so you know that works as well, I've not go back to that. We'll close that down. Now, installing from the Puppy Package Manager, or PPM as it's now called. Now, I had a bit of a problem with this. The main thing being that, let me just do this, hang on. As you can see, I put GIMP in there already, next for the cap. If you go to Graphics, for instance, this is where GIMP normally lives, and you click on it and you install it from here, you don't get a menu entry. Now, I've tried several other little pups here, and it's all the same. You don't actually get a menu entry for it at all. Now, the workaround for this is to download load the file individually. So, click on GIMP, which I've already done because I've already installed it, or XFID CAP, and it installs and you get a menu entry. Sadly, XFID CAP didn't get a menu entry. Bit of a bummer, but I'm sure that'll be worked out in a couple of days or so. Also, we've got Aqualung Audio Player and Ripper. And now this is a bit better than a GXZ in my opinion. You can actually make playlists, etc. And it'll also rip them for you at the same time if you go into preferences. So if I click on add files, you can go to where your files are, add them to your list, and there you go. Works lovely. So yeah, it's quite nice. Another nice new thing, because the last one didn't have too many new things. This has got quite a few. If you delve into it yourself, you'll see what I mean. It still runs in the background once you close it down, by the way and the same for your chat client. Now I won't actually let it connect because I don't usually see my contacts. Oh my god, there. And you said that still runs as well. I think I would have preferred Pigeon myself, but hey, that's just my personal preference. You can add it at a later date if you want. We'll just scroll down the menu for a bit. Now, as you can see, it's a lot quicker than the last puppy. Now, in my opinion, you should download it and give it a try. Even off disk, it's quick because it runs in RAM, of course. So, Get it, give it a go. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Sneaky looks out. See you later.